Dumbsville guy needs to stop adding memes all the time. SHUT UP! Previously on the Ghetto Smash and Dumbsville crossover. Oh Will he cough up our cash? I don't have any money. Listen up, motherfucker. I got Stewie to give you the perks, and you ain't gonna pay us. At that point, I might as well beat your ass. Hashtag where our money! Okay, look, uh, I'm low right now, but uh, we can make a deal, right? I have this copy of Smosh the Movie on DVD. Smosh the Movie? Bruh. That shit's cheap as fuck! Oh. What makes y'all so special? Man, that movie is ass. Straight up mustard gas. Is that a real saying? All I know is that Smosh the Movie is some whack shit. Can we watch Family Guy instead? But I mean, think of the ad revenue. Ain't no motherfucking way you getting me to watch the Smosh movie. Oh my <sighs> god, it's <sighs> Smosh. Boys, it's Smoshin' time. The Smosh was an internet web series thing by Anthony Padildo and Ian Cox. The channel was based around sketch comedy and was at one point considered funny. funny. I'm pretty sure a good majority of you already know what Smosh is, so I won't waste your time. But for those who don't know, their comedy was very, uh, lol, xd, random, and lots of screaming. It's like my editing style only in 2012 and coming out of Ian Hecox's mouth. And you know, when I was 12, they were really funny. Funny. But hearing the 15th joke where Anthony screams out, LET ME SQUIRTLE ON YOUR JIGGLY bump, You know, it gets kind of old. And while it does make my autistic ADHD brain go burr, uh, I don't like that it does that! Name one game that would still be fun if it was realistic. I should kill the child. Amazing. Wait! But whatever, Smosh was at one point very successful. But in 2015, they made Smosh the movie. A movie that, in my opinion, is the beginning of the end. Like, around this time, Smosh was getting more corporate. And furthermore, is it a coincidence that two years after the Smosh movie, Anthony would leave Smosh? And then Smosh would get, uh, even unfunnier? You might still not find what you're looking for, but I guarantee you the experience will be fun. Like the Hunger Games. So... How did that little mutant get double ringworm around his eye? By peering into a schnauzer's asshole? <laughs> well, this Are was you serious? Well, this was written- Are you serious? This was written years did ago. Did you just write that? The beginning of this downward spiral, though, had to be the Smosh movie. The establishment of a new, tumultuous time for Smosh. A moment in time where Smosh was no longer a passion project, but a brand. So what's wrong with this movie? Well, let's talk about it. By the way, uh, this video is really cathartic for me, because in college, I dated a Smosh fan. And, uh, you know that Riddler meme where he goes, Riddle me this, Batman. Why did she say she wanted a break, but then got a boyfriend a week later? Yeah, uh, that so me. needless to say, I'm excited to tear this fucking shit apart. All I gotta do is review Smosh the movie. And it's over. Bring it on! I'll give you a little kiss. So without further delay, this is Smosh the movie. An absolute fire trucking disaster. Before we get moving though, this video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. As someone who's chronically online, I am very scared of internet people. Thankfully, this is where Atlas VPN comes in. Atlas VPN encrypts your data and protects your privacy. So when you connect to one of Atlas VPN's servers, it may look like you're taking the walk to Poland. I hope to God that means not dead. But in reality, you're just chilling at a home. Safe and sound. And furthermore, Atlas VPN's interface is so easy to use that even grandma can get in on the action. Yeah, go grandma. And with how much of a great deal this is, why wouldn't you want it? However, for me, as someone who watches a lot of movies, Atlas VPN is really useful when it comes to streaming. You see, certain movies are geo-locked to certain locations and regions. For example, one of my favorite movies, The Grand Budapest Hotel, is on Disney+. Plus. However, it's not in America. Thankfully, thanks to Atlas VPN, I can change my location to, say, Australia. And oh my god, they got The Grand Budapest Hotel and The French Dispatch? It's like a secret library of art house. If all this sounds good to you, check out the link in the description below. Big thanks to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check them out. Now back to the uh, funny video. So our film opens with the absolute worst animation I've ever goddamn seen. Why is it so stiff? Why do the models look like that? Why do the computers and their screens look like that? It's not even properly aligned. Did you hire the fucking little cars people to make this? And worst of all, Shane Dawson is here. Also, nowhere else is the movie animated like this, so this is all completely pointless. It's only here so they can say they had animation in it. We then get our impact font title card with the absolute worst drop shadow I've ever goddamn seen. I should not be 
be allowed to do better than this. Aren't you guys like YouTubers or something? Did you guys not have the creative freedom to turn softness up to like 40%? And you have this fucking white girl summer ass pop song in the background. Stop playing this pussy ass shit. Give me some destroy lonely on this. Anyway, so Ian from Smosh is watching some YouTube videos. Because as we all know, Smosh is a YouTube channel. Meanwhile, Anthony is a pizza delivery man. And no, he was not a pizza delivery person in the actual YouTube videos. So I have no clue why they chose to make him one here. So Ian's watching the butt massage videos. Man, this motherfucker stalking some random bitch on the internet? Ain't that supposed to be you? You're a bitch! If this movie took place in the modern day, you'd bet your ass you'd be a Discord mod. Sweet. So I guess in this alternate Smosh universe, Anthony is a pizza delivery boy, while Ian is a chronically online man-child who lives with his parents. And he also wants to go to the Game Bang, which is the arcade and a YouTube show on Smosh Gaming. So they leave, but not before a really pointless Steve Austin cameo. They couldn't even get him in the actual movie aside from a shitty green screen. God damn it, Fred the Movie had John Cena on set in the movie. Not only are they ripping off Fred the Movie, they're doing a worse job than Fred the Movie. They go to the superimposed arcade where they're bullied by little kids because, uh, yeah. And they go inside the arcade, which isn't actually an arcade, but a bowling alley. All they did was film the little arcade area and call it a fucking arcade. Oh, and there's a Pokemon arcade machine because, uh, the Pokemon was the first Smosh video. Dude, look what it is. Magic Pocket Slave Monsters. And by the way, the animation on the arcade machine is better than the actual intro animation. Why didn't they just uh, hire these guys? That's not to imply the joke itself is very funny, though. The joke is literally, it's Pokemon, but uh, slavery. Whoa, Smosh, don't get too funny now. So Ian embarrasses Anthony and yeah. And we immediately get a fart joke. And uh, that's about it. We then get an epic mealtime cameo. Wow, that's incredibly fucking relevant. So Anthony goes inside, I guess. And turns out they're invited to their high school school reunion, which is where Anthony's old high school crush probably will be. Ah, yes, generic plots, my favorite. And on that note, dear God, is the writing fucking terrible. So Old Smosh was very loud and in your face. Well, that's the humor it was built on. It's crass, absurd, kinda raunchy, and really fast paced. Meanwhile, in Smosh the movie, the humor and dialogue is so vapid and boring. Seriously, man, butt massage girl again? She's my girlfriend and she has a name, you know. Straight up, Smosh sounds bored in this. They sound like they don't want to be here. All the jokes are so dry and obvious. I only have five bucks and that's my porn money. Corn money. Internet porn. God forbid I say it, this feels un-Smosh-like. This doesn't feel like a Smosh movie. It feels like a movie with Smosh in it. But anyways, it turns out there's an embarrassing video of Anthony online where he epically failed a back. So now they gotta get the video removed or he's uncool. So they call up YouTube and try and get the video removed. But they hang up on him and, uh, yeah. So they decide to walk into YouTube and demand the video be taken down themselves. And wow, are all these logos really weird and shitty? Do they not have the rights to the logo? Because they're certainly allowed to talk about YouTube and make it a main plot point. How the fuck does that work? The receptionist then recognizes Anthony as the backflip guy. Which, at that point, why not just embrace it and make it a cool part of you? But whatever. They end up meeting Steve YouTube, who is the CEO of YouTube. And yes, the joke is that his name is Steve YouTube. That's the funniest joke in the whole movie. Backflip microphone guy. Dude, that is one of my all-time favorite videos. So he recognizes him too? Anthony, just embrace the meme at that point. You'll be way cooler if you do. Also, even if you do get the video deleted, if the video is at the level of popularity of the CEO of YouTube knowing about it, then even if you do delete it, it'll just get re-uploaded by somebody else. At that point, you're a kind of fuck. Just be thankful you didn't say the N-word and move on. So after an unfunny skit about Gangnam Style. It's revealed that Steve YouTube can help them by having them literally go into YouTube through a portal. You know, my suspension of disbelief can only go so far. Of course, he has to show them his dick first. Oh, oh my what? Dude, that I <laughs> Ah, giving him the old Harvey Weinstein approach. I see how it is. Hey, ass motherfucker. Bruh. Put your pants on. Listen, I don't care if you have like a romantic interest in men. You still wouldn't be as gay as this motherfucker. Bruh. So, do they gotta lick his balls to get to the portal? Man, this shit like Rick and Morty. So they go into the actual portal for YouTube. And we get the closest thing to Smosh-like humor in the whole movie. Oh, and they're given the iPhones that are plot devices. And uh, yeah. So they go through the shitty green screen portal, I guess. And they go into some kind of bear chase video with the worst looking bear of all time. And now they're suddenly in a Markiplier video where he's playing as a gorilla with a 
chainsaw. Because uh, YouTube. Oh. Then they go to the Smosh House, where Anthony does a sexy dance while Ian records it. Whoa. What? I remember this video. I shot it three months ago. Such an idiot. Oh hell no! Nah. I know for a fact he about to jerk off to him. Yeah. <laughs> You a gay ass. Wait, so is this like a time travel thing or what? How does this whole YouTube thing work? Also, I uh, may be late to say this, but the cinematography has been so bad. The actual Smosh videos are way more vibrant. Camera angles, zoom ins, and shots actually have weight to them. It might not be fucking Roger Deakins, but you know what the camera is in the old Smosh video? It's a fucking communication. Meanwhile, in the Smosh movie, the camera doesn't communicate jack shit. It's a bunch of desaturized still angles. Oh, hey, look, it's the epic mealtime guy again. I wonder what vapid YouTube celebrity they'll cameo next. So more meandering bullshit happens. They meet Jenna Marbles for no reason. God damn, I wish I had a time machine oh, to see that so action. <laughs> yeah, no, to take back my question. <laughs> and then Anthony's at a furry convention, although they look more like Hotline Miami characters than actual furries. And trust me, I would know. I jacked off to El Arca once. Meanwhile, Ian meets his butt massage Discord kit. No, Ian! She's 14! We get another story. Stone Cold Steve oh, Austin cameo, man. which is so obviously shot on the same green screen they shot him on earlier. They just uh, did not care. And the joke is he's selling ice cream at Stone Cold Creamery. Stone Cold Creamy Cream. It's the best. Don't you think people get that confused with Cold Stone? Oh my god, creamy? we get the fucking <laughs> joke. So after a bunch of meandering, we cut to Ian getting a butt massage too. Hold up. What do you guys make of this? Isn't it weird that Ian is getting a butt massage from a man? Nah, that's normal. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Shit, I wish that was me. Yeah, matter of fact, I need me a dick massage. So uh, more <laughs> shit happens, I guess. And now they're going to the actual prom video to remove the video, I guess. And once again, I have no idea if this is time travel or they just remove the video. But like the writers fucking care. I guess the instructions for the screenwriter was, uh, write a bunch of dog shit. We'll put Ian and Anthony from Smosh in it. But then, plot twist, turns out Ian was the one who recorded the video and posted it on YouTube. Why did he do this? Well, fuck you, that's why. So they end up missing their opportunity, but get in a big third act fight, which causes them to teleport into a bunch of YouTube videos. So after a bunch of comedy that's about as fun as watching fucking paint dry, Ian then decides to help Anthony by assaulting the other Anthony to stop the video from happening, which causes a giant prom fight to break out. So the duo try to escape, but it turns out Steve YouTube wants to trap them in YouTube forever. Yeah, it turns out he's the fucking bad guy. So the Smosh duo decide to go back through their viewing history, all while Steve YouTube chases them down, which means more hysterical, Fuck funny comedy. I'll be the one to massage that booty. I like that very much. Yeah. Holy shit, this looks like garbage. Look at this one part in the furry scene. You can see the nose going through his face. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's even going on in this scene? I don't fucking know. But then the CEO of YouTube gets eaten by the bear that was earlier in the movie. Yeah, sure. Okay, fine. So Smosh go back through the portal into the real world. And as par for the course, uh, it looks like shit. But now their video is removed, so like yay. But now it turns out they're rich and famous now. And Ian is now fully dating the butt massage Discord kitten girl. All because their clone fight video now got them rich and super famous. Oh, please. I wish I could get rich and famous off of one video. So Anthony calls for his girlfriend. He's been trying to fuck the whole movie but then it turns out you don't have a girlfriend i know you have like 30. oh so he's a man whore now nice but sadly his girlfriend isn't in this fucking harem so he's all like sorry i can't do this anna's the only one i want so let me get this straight he has 30 oh, girlfriends bro. abandons all of them bro. for some smelly bitch he met five years ago bro. he could have been putting his dick in mushy biscuits but instead goes to some pickle stuffer he met in high school hey more for me i guess god damn man why are you so nasty all the time so after five million light cycles of nothing they make it to the high school reunion all about a song from audio jungle plays so anthony meets up with his high school girlfriend and he's all like hey baby i'm rich and cool now then she's all like, but Anthony, I loved you when you were poor and nerdy. God damn, epic Riz fail. But then Anthony goes up on stage and sings the Pokemon song. And then does the backflip successfully. Which suddenly means she wants to fuck him now. But then they murder some random guy. It really is you. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. So you're telling me she likes him now just because he did a dope-ass backflip? Nah, she likes him because he killed a guy. Teardrop under the eye and shit. Nope, he's dead. That's why I don't date white women. They crazy. Yeah, that's why I only go for Latinas. You mean Latinx? Yeah.
Sorry. So the two of them fuck, and it turns out Ian's Discord kitten's name is Brad. That is a joke, and that is how the movie ends. Nice to meet you. My name's Brad. What, what the, the fuck? Oh, there's an after credit scene where they get married, and yeah, that's about it. And that's uh, the whole fucking Smosh movie. Glad my time wasn't wasted. I have a raging boner right now. <laughs> And that was Smosh the Movie. Holy fuck was that bad. That was one of the biggest pieces of shit I've ever goddamn seen. It's a boring, vapid watch. The jokes are incredibly unfunny. The film is shot and presented so boringly, so plainly. It's like wallpaper. And like I said earlier, this doesn't feel like a Smosh movie. The fast-paced, absurdist humor just isn't there. There's no goofy shit like Charlie the Drunk Guinea Pig or Molester Moon. You can't tell me this movie is being outdone by its own YouTube videos. It's based on. What the fuck happened here, aside from corporatism? If the movie was more like a Smosh movie, it would have been not great, but it would have at least been a Smosh movie. But instead of playing into that, the film instead goes for this vapid plot with vapid jokes and vapid characters. And the big selling point is that it's a movie with Smosh in it. Like, okay, Fred the movie is garbage, but Fred the movie was also true to the source material. I wasn't bored watching Fred the movie. I'm not even joking here. Fred the movie is a better experience than Smosh the movie. My point is, Smosh the movie is terrible, it's awful, and I fucking hate Smosh. Fuck you, Smosh. So, Ghetto Smosh, what did you guys think? Man, fuck you mean. We wasn't watching that shit. Right. Why, you was watching Smosh the movie. We was watching the new Family Guy movie. Oh. Meg in the striped pajamas. This shit clean as hell. Make me want to be Family Guy. Get the fuck out of our house, man. We trying to watch real shit. Well, wait, didn't you guys want, like, payment or something? <laughs> One game that would still be fun if it was realistic. Wario, is it true, as many have put forward today, that you are evil? No, I am not the evil. I just uh, misunderstood. And some of the anti-Italian hatred in the courtroom is uh, disgusting. Joel, please get up! <laughs> Time to wake up. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. Grab some oil on me, will you? Me? You serious? Oh, sh shit. I need a toilet. Perfect location. I will now avenge my father. <laughs> Time to shoot my shot. Let's look for a fine girl. She don't even gotta be fine today. I'm feeling generous today, matter of fact. Uh, you know, good enough. <clears throat> oh my. <sighs> go googly moogly! Oh my. Oh my Lanta girl. Let me tell you something. I saw you and you are looking. No, 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 that ain't it. Mm, mm, mm. Dios mío! Oh, eres hermoso!
so no, 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 that one ain't it. Bibbling and oh, gribbling and grobbling and slip slobbling and gib gobbling and goo. Scooby, dooby doo. Raggy. Oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, yo, guilty. Nah, that one ain't it, bro. That one is not. And which is going to increase the duration of your vortex. So you're sucking people from across the map, just suck, suck, sucking, and. Why the fuck do my dog walk sideways, boy? Like, he don't walk regular. The pit walk horror, vulnerable, heterosexually. Yeah.